Hi brothers and sisters, this is John Casilag and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel is taken from the fourth chapter of the book of Mark, verses 35 to 41, or the story of the coming of a storm at sea. Jesus asks us today, do you not yet have faith? Do you not yet have faith? So the story goes that Jesus got on a boat with uh, his disciples away from the crowd that was following them. It was evening and there were other boats at sea with them. After a while, a storm came, violently rocked the boat, and it was getting filled up with water inside. So not surprisingly, the disciples got thrown into a panic, woke up Jesus who was sleeping, and questioned his concern for them, asking, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? After which Jesus stood, rebuked the wind, and silenced it. After calm had returned, he then turned to the disciples and uttered these stinging words, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? Here was a group, my dear brothers and sisters, who were part of the ministry of Jesus. Not just a couple of onlookers, not just curious people going with the crowd waiting for a teaching, not just sick folks looking to be called and healed. These were men who have the privilege of spending their days with our Lord listening and learning from all that he has to say, witnessing firsthand the love that he spreads. Men who are supposed to be transformed by being the presence of the Messiah. But Jesus' presence in that boat didn't seem enough. These were the same men who cowered in fear as that storm blew, despite having Jesus right at the boat with them. These same men scolded Jesus as if he didn't care about them. And these same men showed a tremendous lack of faith, all the while knowing what kind of person the man on the boat was. It took our Lord ordering the waves to ease, to, to, to allay those fears. Jesus' question to them, asking about their faith, also asked his question, Am I not enough? Am I not enough? Some more reflection points, my dear brothers and sisters. First, in the presence of our Lord, nothing else should matter. When we have the King in our corner, no circumstances, no difficulties, big or small, should shake us. In Matthew 27, verse 4, Jesus would liken us to wise builders who build their homes on strong foundation. And that foundation is Jesus. Second, true faith need not test Jesus. To him who has faith, no evidence is needed. To him who lacks faith, no evidence will ever be enough. When we have the king of the universe at arm's reach, no test is required. Only confidence that he has our best interest at heart. And third, gratitude first, amazement later. For the disciples, Joe would drop at awe at what Jesus did. It struck me that this was their first response to Jesus calming the sea. That instead of turning around and thanking him, they chose first to marvel at what they witnessed. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Teresa of Avila sums it all up so wonderfully when she prays, Solo Dios basta, for God alone is enough, and he should be. When God suffices for you, you know that you have fully received the faith that Jesus offers you each and every day. Solo Dios basta. God alone is enough. God loves you, kapatid. Know that He thinks about you and loves you always. And if you are blessed today, do like and share this page so that many more may hear about this great, great, great love of God. Have a great weekend.